Hey guys, this is Lucas K.O. Bro here with my 12th spy video. I see a scout, jump backwards, land on his head, pyro walk sword, and then be able to get the stairs I have on him. Pull DR to protect myself. Move back to the health in the middle. Here I start to chase some soldiers. And get the stab while the pyro kills the other one. I'm looking for my next target, see a soldier, and shoot down with the stab. I bring out my DR to protect myself from the scout. And once again, go back to the health in the middle, waiting around for it to respawn. I'm looking around, seeing where my next victim will be, and I found him. And get the stab on the sniper. I jumped on the pyro and missed the stair stab, and I had to retreat from the soldier, but at least I'm able to get the side stab on the medic. Move forward. I'm pulling my DR, but it's still no hope. Be very careful. A lot of classes can still two-shot you, even with your DR pulled out. Here, I'm doing something very cheeky. I'm sticking around and calling medic. This will sometimes bait people to you end. I get the scout to fall into my trap. I kill the AK and then jump down. Always remember, when you're falling from far enough distance to take falling damage, always remove DR so it isn't triggered prematurely. I move up and get the headshot on the scout. And then get a nice side stab on the next scout. I move forward and backstab the scout. Pull up my pistol. Shoot the fire once and then get a headshot on him for the kill. I headshot another pyro, and then once again, <laughs> headshot him. I see a soldier pull out DR, and as soon as I get around the hopper, instantly remove DR to see if he notices the sound. He doesn't, he's not observant, so it allows me to be very aggressive and get another stab. I move in and stab the heavy, and then shoot the medic twice for another kill. The scout sees me, so I start to run one more direction, then jump back around for the stair stab. Always use jukes to fool people to where you'll be moving next. A pyro moves from spawn, so I flank him and stab the demo and the pyro. See a soldier start to flank. I do something very reckless. The side stab misses and it puts me in a very bad place. Luckily, the fire is able to finish him off. Move back for health. Looking away from my enemies so they don't suspect that I'm an enemy. Jump down, get the stab on the pyro. Flank the demo. Before dying to the scout. Luckily, we're able to win the round. Here, I move up. Get a nice backstab. Pull out the air to prick myself on the soldier. move down, starting to give chase to the pyro. But I see Demo. I go to stab him, but then he slightly turns right as I go to stab him, so I'm forced to slash him recklessly. He puts pipes down, so I'm forced to pull out my pistol, jump in the air, and headshot him. <laughs> I retreat from the pyro, who starts to come, and luckily my teammates are there to save me. I see a medic healing a heavy, so I move behind them and stab them both. I'm very lucky here. The heavy did not spy check me, which gives me an easy kill. When the pyro puts me in fire, I'm forced to back off. I remove DR as soon as I see some metal on the ground, and I try and bait the pyro to follow me up the ramp. But he does no such thing. So, I move back in and stab the soldier. I keep my DR out here even though I jump down because the scout's still following me. I wait a little bit to remove DR until I'm in a safe distance, but I try to keep, stay close enough to the scout so he'd follow me up the ramp. Unfortunately, I'm not baiting anyone in this clip, so I just decided to move back up top again. Jump over to try and stab the scout with the Australian who's on the lift. He jumps down, so I move up, and I decide to see how oblivious the heavy is, and it turns out very oblivious. So I get a free kill on the heavy, followed by the soldier and the scout, before dying to the spy. I move in, and get Two headshots on the medic for the kill. And then get a headshot on the scout carrying the Australian, which causes the lift to start falling down. I wanted to headshot the pyro too, but decided not to test my luck, so I move in. Miss the stab. 
so I hit up top, call the spy pyro to my teammates, and the pyro finishes him off just in time. I move back up top, and I don't pull out DR right away, because I'm trying to blend in, but the scouts aren't being fooled, so I pull out DR to protect myself. I jump down, and once again, several oblivious heavies, so I can be very aggressive. I get the stab on one heavy, flank the next one. Unfortunately, right as I go for the stab, he turns slightly, so I'm forced to pull out DR to protect myself. I once again call out the spy pyro to my team. I see a medic and DR in front of him, move up, stab the heavy, and then jump backwards for the blind stair stab on the medic. What a great feeling that was. I move forward, hoping to get another kill on the heavy, but he's not allowing it, so at the very last possible moment, I pull out DR and protect myself. Once again, calling out the spy pyro to my friendly team. I hear the gate open, so I wait for the heavy <laughs> to come out and get another heavy kill. And then move forward and stab the pyro. Because the lift is too high now, I'm forced to have to go up the ramp, and I choose this path because it's a little more... It gives less vision to the enemy. I jump over onto the lift and stab the scout carrying the Australium. Try and get another backstab on the scout, but just missed it. I'm forced to pull out DR, and I retreat into their spawn, feeling that this is m the best position for me. Gives me another free stab on the heavy. He didn't expect a person that would be able to go in there. Then I stabbed the medic. Started to move into their spawn. And, uh, <laughs> the heavy is obviously confused about what happened. He doesn't realize that enemies can get up into that area. <laughs> I'm amused by this. I want to, I want to, you know, I'm very amused by this. And once again, he goes in the same spot. So I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be great. I have to do the same thing again. But I still have DR charge, so I'm going to go for a kill. Unfortunately, the heavy isn't going to let me get it. So when the pyro comes and puts me on fire, I pull out DR to break myself, pick up the health and metal, and then start to move in again. And even though I bump into him, the heavy is new enough to not notice. And once again, get the stab on the heavy. Pyro comes, and I try and get a, a side tap on him, but it's <laughs> to no avail. He manages to kill me. And as you can see, the heavy is a bit confused and a bit frustrated. So, <laughs> despite, you know, it's always nice to take advantage of the inexperienced players, but don't be too mean. You know, throw him a bone now and then. That's a great way to improve the community. Just help him out a little bit. Explain what they did wrong, if they ask. I move in and see an NG, so I stab him and sap the sentry, and then DR to protect myself from the scout. I instantly remove DR because there's health and metal and an almost dead sentry, so I have several DRs in the background if I need them by just simply picking up the metal. I move forward and dance around the heavy until finally I'm able to get a stab on him. Move down, the NG starts to set up again, and once again stab him and sap his sentry. looking for my next target, I move down, and since the soldier is not looking around at his surroundings, gives me a free kill. I see a heavy, it's the same heavy that was a little oblivious from before, so I'm able to go for a very cocky stair stab on him. I'm gonna move down and see the NG, who switched to a pyro! <laughs> and get another, a third kill on him, that poor guy. The heavy notices me, so I pull out the and instantly remove it, but... Two pyros from spawn ruined my fun. Here I move forward and kill a demo and a soldier while they're distracted by my teammate. Since my teammate is going to be waiting around for the Australian to spawn, I decide to move forward to the lift. Unfortunately, I go to try and stab the pyro and my teammate shoots an enemy that I'm right behind. Don't shoot an enemy that a friendly spy is chasing. It's a very <laughs> it's a very good way to get that spy killed. Luckily, I'm able to use my gun and pick up the kill and escape to the health and metal. Once again, the worst part of Doomsday, you're often encouraged to just spawn camp. It's a <laughs> it's an awful habit to do to spawn camp too much, and unfortunately in this map, it, oh, it just oh well, I digress. I wait around the corner and I'm able to pick up two pyro kills because of it. Move forward, flank a demo, 
and sadden. And then jump for a cool little stair stab on the pyro. And we win the round. Now I'm doing my favorite route in this map. Taking the ramp, and then hugging the wall. This is the most efficient way to flank the players that are going to Australia. I start to move forward, but I see a heavy who's being very aware and it's about to spy check. So I back up a little bit, start to move forward, see a soldier, afraid that he was about to spy check me, and jump backwards, and land the stair stab. I see a pyro coming out the ramp, and jump over him for another stair stab. <laughs> The pyro starts chasing me, I'm at a very bad disadvantage, I need to come into low ground, so I do, and then jump over his head for a THIRD stair stab! <laughs> oh, that was such a wonderful round. I start to flank the pyro, and then I cut him off by running more efficiently than he does. This nets me an easy kill. I move up and jump into the group, seeing how cocky I can be. Once I get the stab on the pyro, I pull out the R, and then decide that I want to flank them. So, I allow the soldier to trigger the R. Now since this pyro in the back is being very laggy, I instantly move the R and start chasing him. Laggy players will not often be that aware, and they can't usually combat you as well as normal players can. So I pick up the free kill. I want to try and stab the, so the soldier, but when he rocket jumps, I'm forced to switch to the heavy. I get the stab on him and start looking for my next target. I see two pyros, and I'm waiting for them to move forward to the point, to the objective. But I get a little confused here, and then realize, oh, they're playing sniper pyro. <laughs> so I loop around and stab them both. I'm looking for my next target, and I see a laggy NG. Remember, there's a laggy enemy against me, but unfortunately, it was not a spy. It was actually a teammate. Apparently, he had switched teams. So, I loop back around and look for a new target. Killing the soldier. And then I get stuck underneath the lift. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. And, um, I'm literally a sitting duck. <laughs> oh, but you know, what can you do? Now, a very important aspect of a stair stabs is to understand the difference between them. The higher the stair stab, the less deceptive. The lower the stair stab, the more deceptive. The less distance between you and the target, the more deceptive. A pyro is surprising me out from the corner, so I'm forced to run around to the health and middle and use this slight hill to get a badass stair stab. <laughs> Here, I'm trying to decide what target I want to go for, but the scout forces my hand, so I'm forced to jump and just go for the first one I see. A stair stab on the soldier. Now, since the objective has been neutralized, I decide to wait in spawn, because I figured someone might chill trickle out and be a good place to cut them off in their tracks. But then I'm like, oh, screw this, I don't want to spawn camp anymore. <laughs> but then I hear the gate open, so I turn around and get a nice side stab on the pyro. I move forward, inside the soldier, I see a sniper and start to go towards him. Unfortunately, he knew I was there, so I slash him, dodge his arrow, and then shoot him twice for the kill. Here, I see a pyro. Unfortunately, I mispredict his movements. I thought he'd go up the ramp. Instead, he goes out into the open and gets hit by the mini sentry and dies to it. I jump and get a stair step on the pyro. And then move in and stab the sniper as he's distracted by my teammate. See a sentry and move towards it aggressively. And since the NG does not spy check me, I stab first and then stab, leading to an e a very easy kill. Go back in for the health and middle. And I see a soldier and I really want to stare stab him, but it's in a bad position, so I move back into spawn and <laughs> kill the heavy and the sniper for jumping on top and stabbing the AFK Pyro. Pick up the health and metal. And finally, the soldier starts to come out, but I jump too early and made it too obvious, and the soldier's broads of rockets says, YOU SHALL NOT STAIR STAB! <laughs> well guys, thank you so much for watching my 12th spy video. This has been Lucas Kobro. Ah, finally bringing you 
my next video. I was so happy to bring this out to you guys. I, I took a little vacation. And in the process, Valve, after Meet the Pyro, apparently released two new updates out of the blue while I was on vacation. I know, right? How good they? But this is wonderful. It means <laughs> more updates in TF2, you know? Joy, including the August 2nd update, which has some new items, including a new sapper for the spy, and the Man vs. Machine, which introduces TF2 co-op. So, I'll start to work on those videos. I wanted to get the viewer appreciation video out so bad, but apparently that's not in the stars for me yet. So, I'll start work on videos of the updates, and then hopefully, hopefully get to the viewer appreciation video. But thank you so much for watching, guys. It means so much to me. Leave comments, like it, tell me what you think. I worked very hard on it. I hope you enjoyed every minute, because I sure did. This is such a fun process, and I don't know, something about trying to entertain people with my video game footage, just, just, it just <laughs> thrills me. So yeah. <laughs> Once again, this has been Lucas Kyobro with my 12th spy video now. Click that subscribe button, or you too will be caught underneath a lift. Oh no, I'm stuck! Oh no! <laughs> oh god. Oh god.